As temperatures drop, our homes can feel dry, and you may be tempted to crank up your humidifier. But experts warn that can cause major problems. Stinson Services has received hundreds of calls about water coming from attics during the warm up these past few days. High humidity indoors can cause frost to form in your attic, but there's an inexpensive way to avoid a costly cleanup. A ring around the bathroom light fixture was the first indication for the nickels something was wrong. So there was just water leaking out of here, and we just heard the dripping. Yeah, we tilted it down, and it started basically like water poured out to there. It was definitely a panic moment. You don't want water pouring out of your ceiling. The couple soon learned frost in their attic that had melted caused the moisture. The entire deck is wet up here and a few days ago it would have been completely covered with frost. It started with turning up the humidity in the home, warming the air during the coldest winter days. Anything that pokes through the ceiling allows the warm moist air to go up into the attic. Tom Parafinnick with Stinson Services says it's a common problem in Minnesota. When it has been as cold as it has been for the last two weeks below zero, Instead of venting out of the attic like it normally would through the exhaust vents at the top, it just freezes on the decking. Parafinic can see the moisture with an infrared camera. Pictures show what frost looks like in an attic. And it stays there as frost until it warms up again. And then it begins to rain in the attic. To prevent it, Stinson offers recommended humidity levels for a home. A monitor allows homeowners to keep an eye on the level. I think we have a good game plan set. We know to set our humidity levels lower, and I think we are on the right track now. You can buy a digital monitor like the one we just showed you for as low as $10 at hardware stores or Target. For a closer look at the recommended humidity level for each indoor temperature, go to wcco.com links.